I'm moving on to Simon McGinn, who is not usually on Zoom and doesn't come on Zoom, but he's agreed to come on to Zoom today uh, to speak about the Twitter uh, campaign called It Was a Scam. Are you there, Simon? Hi, Crispin. Thanks very much for having me. Uh, thank you for coming on. Um, now, uh, you've I've, I've looked a bit at your, your Twitter account and, and you've built up a really quite big following on this, uh, on this hashtag, it was a scam. Um, how, how, how long have you been doing this, this uh, Twitter uh, campaign? And um, can you tell us what sort of response you've had from uh, troll people and stuff like that? Has it been really difficult for you? Um... We, we started, the, the hashtag started sometime last year, I can't quite remember when, but it was just, it just grew naturally out of conversations that we were all having on Twitter about the, the various accusations that have been made against leftists to, with regard to anti-Semitism. And we just started using the word, it's a scam, because the, the, the accusations we were seeing were patently and obviously fraudulent. Um, I've, I've listed 10 of them on a blog post, which anybody can have a look at. Um, the, 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 the facts are not really in dispute. You, you can't really dispute them because it's just reality. It's what somebody said as opposed to what somebody claims they said. And the two are simply not the same. And anybody who looks at the evidence, even for a minute, even quite casually, can see that that's the case. These, these are obvious and ridiculous frauds. Um, the the, the, the follow-on from that is that you can't really debate this factually because what it is is reality and you'd have to deny reality. So what they do instead, the people who oppose it, is to um, attack and uh, persecute people who propose it, such as myself. So we get called anti-Semites, of course, obviously, because that's the default position for anybody on the left. Um, it, it, it's, it's been, um, I, I, th I think I've had much more, we've had much more support than I expected ever to get. And the opposition to it has been frankly silly, really, most of it. It's, it's mostly either people who are just simply determined to scream Jew hater at you online repeatedly for months at a time, some of them, um, or people who simply um, are sort of basically saying, wow, I don't like it. Um, there's, there's, there's been no reason debate against it because you can't mount a reason debate against reality. And the reality is that the labor anti-Semitism crisis was a fraud a massive uh, system-wide fraud. Press, media, politics, uh, the military, the established church, uh, other community leaders, other faith leaders, um, celebrities, state-sponsored celebrities, BBC celebrities, specifically Bedeal, Schneiders, these people, um, have all mounted a massive fraudulent operation to try and persuade the British people that the left are anti-Semitic. The left are not anti-Semitic. And, and the, the claims that they are can be examined factually. The words can be looked at. You can see them. You can hear them on the tape. And then you can check those against what these people are accused of saying or doing. And you can see with your own eyes in a minute that the accusations are ridiculous and fraudulent. Um, and this is all we're saying. We're just saying, look at this information look at the fact that the, the narrative that we've been fed for the last six years, I think since 2016, um, that the left are in some way anti-Semitic or that Corbyn is an anti-Semite or that any of the, the named people, Jackie Walker, hello Jackie, um, Chris Williamson, um, innumerable others, like uh, Mark Wadsworth, I can't think of all the names right now, have been um, traduced in the media um, systematically for all of this time, fraudulently. And the, the, the fact that this is still going on, the fact that Starmer is still attempting to use this obvious and ridiculous fraud to purge the party of socialists and leftists is, is an outrage. And we really need to be talking about it. The Labour Party, at some point, is going to have to address what it's done over the last seven years with, with the left and with Corbyn. And it's going to have to come to terms with it because it cannot really survive otherwise. A party cannot survive if it's built on a massive lie. This is, this is exactly the same as the Republicans in, in, the, in, in the US, the Trump Republicans who have built their entire party on a big lie that Trump won in 2020, which of course he didn't. But Starmer has done exactly the same thing. He said, the Labour Party needs saving. I can save it from the anti-Semitic left. Here they all are. And they present their evidence and it's, it's just a, a farrago of nonsense, really. I mean, it, mm. I, I've, I've, 
I kind of expected there to be a bit more substance to it when I first started doing this, and there is none. It is simply a massive hoax, uh, not really a hoax so much as a con trick, a scam, a fraud, that has been perpetrated on the British people by BBC, Guardian, Telegraph, Times. The, the entirety of our media um, infrastructure all colluded with this ridiculous and appalling fraud and are still doing so. And it was a scam, is simply an attempt on Twitter, because that's the only platform I have, to, um, to set this right, to say, no, this is simply not true. Reality says this is not true. If you're saying it's true, you are denying reality. And this is what the Starmer's Labour Party has now turned into, is this bizarre reality denial cult where you can only survive in the party by saying things which you must know on some level are simply fraudulent, are simply false. And anybody who does say something which is true, yeah, Angela Rayner famously said that, that, that what Corbyn had said about the EHRC report, for instance, was true but unacceptable. And this is where we are now with Starmer's party, is that there are true things which are unacceptable. Yeah. Um, I don't accept that. I don't accept that there are true things which are unacceptable. I, I, I would assert that reality is simply there and that you either accept it and start to deal with it or you are forced into the position of denying it. And this is where the, the rank and file membership of the Labour Party now are being steamrolled into having to adopt a position which is frankly ridiculous, which is, which is contrary to reality and which can be shown to be contrary to reality in a matter of minutes. Yeah. Well, we, 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 uh, on, on, on Not the Andrew Marr Show, we've spoken to well, Jackie Walker and, and Mark Wadsworth and Ken Livingston and uh, Chris Williamson, and each one of them, is, it's clear that they're not um, anything like they've been depicted. Nothing like we that. Need more, we need more people to speak out on this, and it's great you're doing this, and, it's, it, it, and that Twitter's, you've got quite a big following, uh, already so hopefully we'll, we'll keep pushing this and um it'd be good to speak to you for more but i'm, I'm just aware of the time no and, um thank you thank you uh for coming on to zoom as well for the first time hope you can do it again